Hello, my wonderful friends. Magus with you on a beautiful evening. Welcome back to the library. Oh, I have a fun video for you guys. I'm going to share with you the number one book series on the internet. I'm three books into it, and I am loving it. I'm going to share with you how I came across this series, which is ridiculous. It's still, I can't wrap my mind around it. And then, you know, we've also been doing uh, Reading with Dogs, and it's kind of just an excuse for me to read children's books to you. But <laughs> this, uh, when I saw this on the shelf, Good Dog Carl, I almost started crying. And I know if you guys watch my videos, this is nothing shocking to you that I get moved by books. But this has such memories. I used to read this to my Rottweiler, Cody. And uh, I, I moved back into the family home here where I had Cody, where I raised my kids. And uh, the chair, we used to call it the Cody chair, is still down there. And then his toy, I still have this is Cody's toy. And so I was looking at his chair back in the family home, Cody's toy, the book I used to read to him. Oh, my heart was just overflowing. And so I'm going to share this with you guys at the end of this. Uh, so the, the most popular book series on the internet, you already know this, Sarah J. Moss, The Throne of Glass series. I'm three books in and I am loving it, guys. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. But first, I got to tell you how this came about. So I'm retired. I live up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I have a very set routine in my life. And uh, I got a wild hair one day, was missing the family and my friends in California. So I, I went down to see him and visit everyone. And uh, I get down there and my daughter-in-law calls and she works at this most beautiful cake restaurant. They make, I mean, just those amazing cakes like you see on TV. And she calls me and says, our, our delivery driver, called in sick. Will you deliver cakes? Please help. I'm like, oh my God, this is so out of my comfort zone. So I, I, I find myself, I'm in a cake delivery van on a busy California freeway out delivering cakes. And I'm saying, I can't even wrap my mind around. I'm like, what is even happening? <laughs> you know? And, and so anyway, back at the cake shop, uh, they made these cakes, uh, all of books. They, they look just like real books, but they're made out of cake. And I, I was looking at all the different ones. And I'm thinking, I know that book. I read that book. I know that author. But someone I never read was Sarah J. Mass. And I, was, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to start that series. So, so I, I went to Barnes & Noble down there. And, and, and I got the Throne of Glass. I absolutely fell in love with it. And, and I mean, the characters. Uh, uh, Selena... She, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, so you, you might have already read this thing. I know this, Megas. I won't spend too much time. Uh, but if you haven't, uh, you got to get this series. So Selena, uh, she's uh, in prison. She's an assassin. But the king is having like a, a big tournament. And whoever wins becomes the king's assassin. And it'll buy her freedom. And so she wins it. She's a badass. And but it's so much more than that. It's the banter. You guys know I love witty banter. She's always just got something slick to say. Um, the captain of the guard. I love the the tension. You know between them is this hate? Is this romance? With what are we dealing with? And then this is one of those books. The way it's written, I just I I got it in my brain. I can picture it. I can picture everything about it. She she just she tells the story so well. I, I I know this world, right? It's in my head, and it, it's exciting. It's never boring. It's just it's just such a fun series. So if you for some reason haven't found it yet, uh, Sarah J. Mass Throne of Glass, definitely check it out. Now, Good Dog Carl. It's mostly pictures. I'll, I'll share with you guys uh, and. But again, it's just one of those that have been with me for so long. And I love having books on my shelves that just, it's like, it's like photo albums. It's memories. It makes me think of these reading to Cody, reading to my dog Cody. And oh, he loved it. So, so let me share good dog Carl with you guys. It says, look after the baby Carl. I'll be back shortly. Let's 
Now the hijinks begin. Baby crawling out of the crib, getting on Carl's back. <laughs> they go into mom's room and jump on the bed. Cody loved this. <laughs> they play dress up and put on makeup. <laughs> Is this precious? Who's actually still with me? Go to the comments and let me know. Whoever's still here, I love you. Thank you for being such a good friend to me. Going down the laundry chute. He runs down to meet the baby at the bottom of the chute. <laughs> oh, I enjoy this too much. This is my level of reading, guys, right here. <laughs> He's running, making a mess, getting into the fish tank. <laughs> Mama has no idea what's going, going on at home right now. Uh-oh, time to party, putting on some music, dancing. Getting hungry now. Going to the refrigerator, getting some food. Would any of you ever let a Rottweiler babysit your babies without you there? <laughs> oh. Getting into the cookie jar. We got quite a mess going on. Taking baby back upstairs. Gotta get him cleaned up, gonna run a bath. <laughs> Putting him back in the crib, licking up the mess. <laughs> You must know mama's coming back home. He makes the bed, puts up the makeup, looking out the window. Here she comes. Just laying there like nothing happened. <laughs> He just puts a smile on my face. Look at that. Good dog, Carl. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Oh. Love you, Cody. And I love, love, love you guys.